Hey friends, quick lesson to inspire anatomy before I show you this short, short movie. Uh, so this morning I was busy in the lab, uh, combining males and females and doing all that breeding stuff. And I caught a couple of spiders in the act. So I thought I'd record those and show them to you. And to explain that, of course, you gotta know a little spider anatomy. So the female spider, as seen in this diagram, uh, has a structure called the epigyne or epigynum, and that's basically the equivalent to her vagina, although she's got pairs of them and so forth. Anyway, that's located on the underside of the abdomen up towards the front. Okay, just keep that in mind. If you're ever looking for an opportunity to mate with a spider, you've got to know where to go first. The male, on the other hand, has these pedipalps. So you see the palps in this diagram. In the male, those are grossly enlarged to form basically little sperm containers with an injection apparatus. So males walk around with these two gigantic, in this species, dark colored objects. They're basically full of sperm. And they wander around, they find a female, and what they got to do is get on her underside and stick those those modified pedipalps into her epigyne. And so that's what you'll see in this video. I hope it all makes sense now. We'll see. Boy meets girl. They don't seem to pay much attention to each other. So over on the right, that is, what's his name again? Don't look it up. H something, H8, I think. And I put him together with Vera over there. And the good news is they aren't attacking each other. But I'm not seeing any courtship behavior either. Maybe you have to get to know each other first. They do seem to be paying a lot of attention to each other, but they're not doing much. If anything, the female seems to be more aggressive than the male. You may also notice there's lots of little baby spiders wandering, or, or baby flies wandering around. That's because I slipped when I went to feed them. Got a bit much. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, the male is fumbling around. So the female epigyne is up near the front of her abdomen. And the male has got to put his pedipalps there to fertilize her. So maybe that's, oh, ooh. Chicka chicka boom boom wow wow, okay. Yeah, that looks like mating to me. Next week I'm going to pick up some flat-sided plastic vials just so I can do this kind of visualization a little bit better. Go with the man a little. Yeah, that male is getting busy there. In the right place. That was quick. I suspect fertilization is complete. And I'll be keeping an eye on Vera to see if she produces an egg sac. Oh, he's going at it again. 
typically female spiders have paired epigynes, so um, sometimes you'll have to mate twice to get them fully fertilized. Yeah, flat-sided vials are kind of necessary here. I guess they're done now. Time to go take a nap, right? Oh, look at him pump his pedipalps there. H8 is a very handsome little spider. I'll say that for him. Maybe he has to recharge his pedipalps before he can go at it again. And there's Vera looking handsome too. Okay. These go back into the incubator and I will check them tomorrow and see if they start producing an egg sac. That would be very nice. I need some more egg sacs.